Thank you. I'd like to in invite our music teacher, Norm Wallen, to come forward. And I have two special people to introduce to you tonight. Norm, would you come up here, please? If you haven't had a, an opportunity to meet Norm Wallen personally, this is Norm Wallen, one of our music teachers. And I'd also like to introduce Marie Williams. Marie is our district music coordinator. I'd like to spend just a couple of minutes telling you a little bit about Norm. Norm has taught for the district for the past 19 years. And when Don Gruel, our orchestra teacher, who taught at five schools, had an opportunity to take a job with the Tacoma School District, Norm and Denny Womack and Paul Dorwin all stepped forward to fill her position. So Norm increased his day, and he is now teaching orchestra at Bush Middle School, band and orchestra at Peter G, and orchestra at East Olympia. I do want to tell you that Norm is a professional musician himself, and he is also a nationally recognized composer and arranger. And he frequently shares those talents with the kids in our district and certainly with his music colleagues. Our music team will tell you that Norm is truly a heavyweight when it comes to the world of professional musicians. He serves clients all over the world, and he has performed across the nation himself. He has created original scores and arrangements every single year for our, for our band, orchestra, and choir performances. And in addition, he has created scores that have been played at all of the national conferences the National Jazz Educators Festival, the American Choral Directors Conference, State Music Educators Conference, and just this last week he had three songs that debuted worldwide, and they were presented at the National Multicultural Honor Choir Convention in wow. Florida. <laughs> Previous, or before they went worldwide. But, You'd think that I'd be recognizing him for all of those accolades tonight. You know what? I'm not. I am recognizing Norm tonight because he loves to work with beginning musicians. And that's really where his heart is, and that's really where he likes to uh, spend his time. Norm could work anywhere in the world, but he chooses to work right here with us. In fact, when Lori Tibbetts, our middle school teacher, was hired, she couldn't believe that we had a composer and an arranger that is so important on our staff, let alone teaching orchestra out at East Olympia. Anyway, I just want to say there are a couple of very special tunes that Norm has arranged for um, our district that you might remember. We Go On is one of the songs that he arranged that has been sung at our graduation ceremony for years and years. And for Jack Aaron's show choir, the Human Heart, which was a piece done from a musical, well, that was just a favorite. And so many, it was part of so many of our students' high school experiences. When Jack and I talked about it, we were sure that Janine Ward would jump up and start singing some choruses of Human Heart because her kids, like all of the other kids in the district, have just enjoyed Norm's arrangements and songs. When Laura Bernowski retired, he wrote an original composition for her called The Sea. And the band and orchestra and choir played that because she too was a very special um, part of our uh, Tumwater family. Anyway, Pete Klinsman and all of your buddies couldn't be here tonight. There, there's a couple of them that are at band <coughs> rehearsals because it's band, it's music in your school's month. So everybody's busy with their own stuff. But your colleagues wanted me to share that it's been a pleasure to work with you that you're a wonderful talent, and you're a real asset to our music team and to our district. And with that, I'd like to introduce Marie, our district music coordinator. We'd just like to say a couple of words. So thank you, Norm. And I won't give you a hug. <laughs> just a handshake. I have enjoyed working with Norm for six years at Peter G. And he could be working anywhere in the United States, and anywhere in the world, but he chooses to bless our community with his presence. And 
I love that he loves to work with elementary students because like, being an elementary music teacher, that's my love too. And I can definitely see his passion for students. He is such a quiet man and he has very few words to say. But when you do get him talking about music and beginning band students and orchestra students, you can see the passion that he has for them. So it is a joy. The, the few things that he has gone the extra mile for me, I asked him to do anything at Peter G, such as play for an assembly, whether it's charge for the Mariner Moose or taps for a Veterans Day assembly, he will change his schedule around and make it work. And he will come. And if it's not his time when he's supposed to be at school, he will come anyway. And he, you know, those are all very small things, but our students see that and they, oh, that's right, he's the teacher that played that at the assembly. I want to do that. I want to play that instrument. He, I've asked him to come and play for my third graders at instrument units, and he comes and he plays his trombone and his trumpet, and the kids leave the room wanting to play those instruments, wanting to join band, and seeing what kind of a teacher he is and what kind of a leader, and they get really very excited. And so all of my reasons are very small and elementary, but the kids love him. And this year has been so cool. The sixth grade group at school loves him. They talk about him all the time. They are so excited to play. Their enthusiasm, and they're just going to go on through middle school, and all six or seven of those kids will play in high school too. And you know that they will continue on. <laughs> <laughs> and they they love him as a teacher, and I I feel very fortunate that he's there, and I love it when he comes into my room and will twinkle the keys and play, and, and you know he's just so quiet, but it's great to work with him, and it's great that he's here in our district serving our students. I'll do that. Have the school board to be able to present this certificate to you. This certificate is given in recognition and appreciation of the musical talents that you share so freely and so often with your students and colleagues throughout the Dunmore School District music program. Thank you for being a student advocate and avid advocate of the arts. Over the years, you have touched the lives of hundreds of musicians and positively influenced many music educators and professional musicians. Are always willing to go the extra mile, and our music students are beneficiaries of your dedication, hard work, and wonderful talent. Tom One School Board, 22nd day of March 2007. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Just, just one thought. I don't know if you saw the paper today. But here's a really good example in the uh, back page of the Daily Olympian of our concept in Tumwater of being lifelong learners. Very many of the band directors in our area, Peter Klinsman for one, and a lot of the professionals believe it's really important to lead by example. And these uh, teachers have joined with me in forming the Jazz Senators Big Band. And uh, this past week we had the Tumwater High School Band open for the professionals over uh, at the Tumwater Grill, and it's just been a very successful uh, further implementation of your desires to get lifelong learning going amongst our young people in the Tumwater schools. The high school kids are very excited to uh, work with professional musicians, and it's just been a wonderful partnership that was enabled through your thoughts of promoting lifelong learning in the Tumwater schools. And, that's what I'm trying to do, and Marie and Dr. Haskin, and uh, several of the other musicians that are here in the house tonight. Thank you very much.